With it being summer solstice, somebody asked me why are sacred sites where they are in the landscape? What made these places seem special so that ancient man decided to build things there? So let's get into it. So let's start with the basics. So if we're wondering why um, sacred sites are where we are, we need to understand a little bit about earth energy. So imagine the green line is the surface of the earth. We're on this huge planet. It is a um, electromagnetic planet that gives off all these different forces and fields of electricity. The combinations in the electromagnetic fields are almost innumerable. Um, but we, as a, as a species, have evolved to live in these um, electromagnetic fields. And our brain, here's the human brain, is highly attuned to them. It is these fields that even influence the neurochemistry in our brain and affect our thinking. So when we're in areas of ground that have um, a sort of a stable base layer of electromagnetic fields without any huge fluctuations, then we have, um, you know, a good clear head. We feel well. It affects our whole mental, emotional and spiritual well-being. And obviously within our brain, right here where the pineal gland is located, we have a crystal, a rhomboid calcite crystal in the brain. Now, this crystal is actually incredibly sensitive to these energies. And when we're in a stable environment where, the, let's say, that the levels of energy are fairly stable, we have, you know, our normal level of consciousness. But that is where we often don't get sacred sites. We often find sacred sites are located near to geological fault lines. Now let's look at why. So here we have the surface of the ground again, and ordinarily we'd have these normal flows of energy. But oh ho, what is happening here? We have this massive spike in electromagnetic energy. Now this happens because these geomagnetic anomalies happen when we have fault lines and fissures, particularly under the ground. These fault lines create these huge spikes in electromagnetic e energy. These spikes affect the neurochemistry. When we get these massive spikes, this crystal becomes activated. It generates its own electromagnetic field around the body. So our aura, which is our electromagnetic field, changes. But it also stimulates different neurochemistry to occur in the brain. So what it enables us to do is sort of step out of the bounds of our normal consciousness. Over here, we live in our normal day-to-day -day brainwaves. Over here, this stimulates different neurochemistry in the body, in the brain, which allows us to have altered states of consciousness. Now, sacred sites are often located very near to geological fault lines. Not all the time, not exclusively. There are other reasons for that. But a lot of sacred salts are located near to geological fault lines because we get these huge fluctuations of electromagnetic energy that generate different neurochemistry in the brain and activate that crystal. So those states of consciousness that we achieve in this location, it's very hard to achieve them in this location. And that is why sacred sites are located where they are.